Did you know Outlook for Office 365 has a number of add-ins? Let's take a look at the top 10 free add-ins from the Microsoft Store. The way you get your add-ins is clicking this Get Add-ins button on the Home tab of Outlook. If this is missing, come over here to your Quick Access Toolbar, go to More Commands, select the Customize Ribbon, select All Commands from the list, and find the Get Add-ins link, which will look like this right here. Add it to your menu and hit OK. And be aware that this is only available for Exchange email accounts. It won't work for POP3 or IMAP accounts. You should have this Get Add-ins button. Click on that and it takes you to the Add-in store where you can search for the add-ins. Now let's take a look at the top 10 free add-ins from this list. Mr. Post. Mr. Post is an email inspection add-in that checks to see if an email is legitimate. It shows up as a button in your toolbar to do a quick scan of the email. Just highlight an existing email that comes from an external source. Click this. It analyzes the email, tells you whether it's safe or dangerous, and it will check the URLs in the email to make sure that those are legitimate as well. It also shows you the real sender's address, even if it is disguised. And it gives you an email location for the routing of where it came from. And in this case, you can zoom in and you can see that this originated in Hong Kong. Mr. Post is a great add-in to let you check to see if emails are legitimate with just a click of a button. Quick Poll by Microsoft Forms. Quick Poll is an add-in for Microsoft with a work or school account. It allows you to create real-time polls and share it with other people in your organization. It shows up in Outlook when you create a new email. You click on this Quick Poll form and type in your input question. Put in your choices. And when you're done, insert the poll in the email. You can choose to do within your organization or outside of your organization. It inserts the question into your email and you just send it to the recipients. When the recipients receive the email, they pick their choice. The originator can go to the sent items and click on the view to view the results in a browser. It will automatically collect this data from all the users you've sent the email and you'll get live real-time information about your poll. Yelp. The Yelp add-in for Outlook gives you the ability to look up information about businesses just with a click of the button and you can insert this data into your email. It shows up on a new email. All you do is click the Yelp button. Do a search. Pick the business from the list and click the insert into mail. It adds the address information, map and links to the review on Yelp. Quick and easy add in for Outlook. Bravo for Outlook. Bravo is an add-in for Outlook that allows you to send appreciation notices to other people in the company. To use it, create a new email, type in the recipient, click the Bravo button, and select a template from the list. Type in any kind of note. and click post. It inserts your appreciation template and you hit send. Bravo does come with some standard templates, but if you want to add more, you will have to upgrade, but the simple ones work fine for most communication. DeviantArt. 
DeviantArt is an online art community where you can download images from their database. To use it, when you create a new email, click the search and add art, and you can type in a topic. It brings up several images that you can choose from. Pick the one you like, and it inserts it into your email. DeviantArt has around 400 million images for download, and you can download as many of these as you want to insert into your emails. However, if you plan to use it for any kind of commercial use or make any edits, you should contact the art creator. Emojis. This add-in adds an emoji task pane to Outlook and lets you select from a number of emojis to insert into your text. Once it's installed, when you create a new email, you have the emoji icon. Click the emoji button and you can select from a list of emojis. Choose your color and you can see there's many to choose from. It's that simple. Boomerang. Boomerang is an email organization add-in as the name implies, it brings things back to your inbox at scheduled times. You can remind yourself of something in the future. You can also remind yourself if an email is not replied to by a certain time. To use it, create a new email, click on the boomerang button, and you can do a remind me later option. Add a note to yourself. Pick a time in the future you want to notify yourself and hit send. Boomerang also has a send later option. You can choose a specific time in the future when you want to send your email. You can also use it to suggest times to other people for a meeting. Invite someone to the meeting, give it a title, set the duration and pick different times on your calendar when you think the meeting can occur and you can insert this into your email. Boomerang also lets you share your availability. Pick the next three days, insert it in your email, and now you'll see your schedule over the next three days listed there. You can also do a read receipt and if you open the Boomerang add-in you can click manage down here at the bottom and it'll show you the things that have been scheduled already in your inbox. Come down here, reschedule them, return them to your inbox, cancel them. It's a great add-in to give you control over your inbox and remind yourself of future events. PayPal for Outlook. Use PayPal for Outlook to send money directly from your email. To use it, Go to a new email, select the PayPal button from the menu, enter the name of your recipient, click on the amount you want to send, hit next, it prompts to log in to your PayPal account, and when you send this email they'll receive a link that they can process the payment. It's as simple as that. Translator for Outlook. Translator provides a simple way for you to read messages in your preferred language. To use it, if you receive any email that's in a foreign language, just open it up, click the Translate Message button, and Translator automatically detects the language and converts it for you. You can choose other languages from the list as well. Translator works across multiple devices. This is just the Outlook component, but it's very handy for any kind of translation of emails. Sourced for Outlook. Source provides an easy way to organize, recall, and discover snippets of interesting content. To use it, you go to a new email and click the Open Sourced button. That brings up your saved or public saved snippets. When you decide you found one that you like, click the plus and it adds the snippet into your email with a link to that information. So when I click on it, it opens the link and makes the information available. You can add a new snippet 
by clicking this plus button up here, giving it a description. You find the URL of the information that you're describing and paste the URL in this link. Pick a category, choose whether it's public or private, and then post the information. Now that snippet is available for selection from the menu. If you visit the sourced link, it shows you all the posts, including your posts. You can just select the My Posts Only, and you can click and delete any that you don't want. Once you've edited and created your posts, you can now make them available simply by choosing the snippet from this list on the right. Sourced is a great tool to gather a bunch of information and place it in a nicely accessible location on the Source website. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.